Yes, hello. Welcome to our English station. It's me, Sandenani, from HK Education Company. Uh, let us meet with our English, uh, with our other session, that is our class project. Uh, I think uh, for, for, for my pupils, uh, have their own class project. So even you who are following me, you have to have or you have to make your own class project. So let us learn this. So it is a class. Teacher, please sir, welcome to our class. We are pleased to have to have you in this session. This is standard five vocation skills subject. We are now in a practical session. You may now talk to the pupils. Guest, hello class, good morning. Class, good morning, sir. How are you? Guest, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm happy to be here to see to see what you do in vocational skills. What do you do in your practical sessions? So we have baraka, we have worn sweaters and socks, uh, make hats, mats, and clay pots and wooden spoons. Guest, oh, that's very interesting. How do you organize yourselves to make such goods? Asha, we organize ourselves into five groups. Each group deals with its own product. The first group needs sweaters. Uh, the second group wears socks and hats. The third group makes mats. And the fourth makes clay pots. And the fifth caves wooden spoons. But the duties are rotational, sir. Guests. I see your products are good, Asha. Thank you for your encouragement. Guest, can you please explain how you make your products? Sabrina, Sabina, yes sir. Let me start with sweaters and socks. We need woolen sweaters and socks using a variety of patterns and decorations. We also weave mats of various sizes and colors, Baraka. In addition, we make beautiful clay pots of various sizes, shapes, and uses. We also carve wooden spoons. Guest, how many products can you produce in a session, Baraka? Each group can make eight products in a session. Very interesting. Guest, do you sell these products? Asha, yes, we do. We sell them to our teachers and the guests on a parent's day. Wow. Guests, this is a good. I will also buy some of your products today. Asha, thank you very much. You are most welcome. Guests, what do you do with the money you make? Sabina, we use the money to buy materials and to pay for study tours. Guests. Thank you very much. I will sell you again next time. Class, cl class teacher, class teacher. Thank you very much for your time and support. Please visit us again. This question now. When do standard five pupils make their products? What type of products do they make? To whom do they sell their products? What do they do with the money they get from selling their products? The other, how many products can be produced in a session? And the other activity that is speaking, read the uh, pairs of words. Uh, we, we read them a lot, so we may skip it. 
uh, even this one, reading the several times of a given sentence. Uh, let us have this exercise. Write the plural forms of the following words. Example, parent, parents. Though we, we, we made it, but we may, we may, we may have this exercise. Spoon, the plural. Sock, yourself, product, people, material. Sweeter, heart, duty, group. Complete the sentences using the words in the box. Woolen, organize, cave, products, cell, wooden spoons, clay, and weave. Standard 5 made in the various in their practical sessions. They make sweaters, socks, hats, mats, clay pots, and dash. We need dash sweaters and socks in a variety of patterns. Uh, we dash mats of various sizes and the colors. They also dash wooden spoons. They make beautiful dash pots of various sizes and shapes. We dash ourselves into five groups. We dash our products to teachers, guests, and parents. Uh, language practice, change the words in brackets into the correct form of a verb. We sell our product every Saturday, so we have to correct it. They caves wooden spoons every evening. Standard 5 pupils make various products every Monday. They dash make sweaters, socks, and hats in every practical session. They dash organizes themselves into groups of five in each session. You may now dash talks to the pupils. He come to class in every practical session. So I have to correct this verb. I usually invite him on Mondays. Change the sentences uh, into the negative form. Example, you make sweaters and socks. You do not make sweaters and socks. They come to class in every practical session. So I have to correct it. Uh, we cave wooden spoons. He sells his products every Monday. They talk to pupils in a practical session. Paul visits our class every Monday. We organize ourselves into five groups. Uh, change the statements into question. Example, you make sweaters and socks. Do you make sweaters and socks? So here, uh, there is the addition of do auxiliaries. They come to class in every practical session. We cave wooden spoons. He sells his product every Monday. Uh, they talk to people in the practical session. Paul visits our class every Monday. We organize ourselves into five groups. And the other activity, writing, uh, re rearrange the sentence into local order to form a single paragraph. The guest asked the, the pupils various questions about their project. B. A guest came to visit uh, the class. C. Standard 5 pupils had a practical session on vocational skills. D. The class teacher welcomed him to talk to the pupils. And E. Some pupils answered the questions. F. The class teacher thanked the guest and invited him again. G. The guest promised to buy <coughs> some their products. So this is the end of our session. Thank you for your time. Let us meet other time. Thank you.